The Alberta NDP have changed the way that they're going to tax beer producers for the second time in only eight months. If only the NDP could put this much effort into job creation instead of finding new ways to tax us all. In a news release, the Alberta government have claimed that they will now tax all beer producers the same at $1.25 per litre across the board, no matter where production originates. The government has also now promised a grant to Alberta breweries only to make up for the cost of the increased tax. The government implemented a new tax scheme just in October of 2015 that was graduated and had taxes increased from 10 cents per litre to $1.25 per litre in some cases for breweries outside of Alberta, British Columbia and Saskatchewan. The three provinces have a trade deal under the New West Partnership Trade Agreement and are essentially exempt from trade barriers. Beer from any province or country outside of that deal is considered an import in Alberta. But under Section 121 of the Constitution, the tax on import beers from out of the province is unconstitutional. According to that section, trade should be free between the provinces, and this was seen as a major benefit of initial amalgamation. As a result of the tax that was introduced in October, Steam Whistle, a brewer based in Ontario, brought a legal challenge forth on the NDP, and they were recently granted an injunction. And that case was supposed to proceed next week, but the NDP have rushed a media release to change the rules and probably to avoid the court battle. By incorporating the same tax that applies to all breweries, there's no case for Steam Whistle, unless they forge ahead on the grounds that the tax is unconstitutional. But even though this problem might disappear for the NDP, it now appears that they'll be taxing British Columbia and Saskatchewan at the same rates, which would most likely violate the New West Partnership trade agreement, if that's the deal. The agreement states clearly under Article 5 that parties shall not establish new standards or regulations that operate to restrict or impair trade, investment or labour mobility. And in fact, a new markup or tax is a trade barrier, which is why I think the NDP have tried to skirt around this issue by giving a grant to Alberta breweries only. The breweries are still being taxed the same as everyone else, but will be reimbursed by the government to compensate for increased costs. However, the New West Trade Partnership also covers this in Article 6C, which states, a party may adopt or maintain a measure that is inconsistent with Articles 3, 4, or 5, or Part 2, provided the party can demonstrate the measure is not a disguised restriction to trade, investment, or labour mobility. So, in short, the NDP have just opened a new can of worms by attempting to put out one fire and starting another. This tax and grant program will certainly benefit Alberta breweries, but the NDP have just traded one form of protectionism for another. The people that will now really suffer are businesses and consumers. Breweries outside of Alberta can just pass the tax increase onto pubs, liquor stores and other establishments that will carry their product, who will then pass that cost on to us. The NDP have solved nothing by implementing a policy that they see as levelling the playing field. As long as breweries in British Columbia and Saskatchewan aren't receiving the exact same grants that Alberta breweries are, they're actually violating a significant trade deal and damaging interprovincial relationships in doing so. So far they haven't released the details of the grant and Steam Whistle hasn't announced whether they will now back down on their case. But I'll definitely keep you updated once that information comes out. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more? The Rebel will click here to become a premium member.